So today we will be discussing how to include carbohydrates in a diabetes diet and today's presentation is brought to you by the Healthy Lifestyle Center. So I will start off by introducing myself. My name is Mallory Craig. I am a nutrition and dietetics major and I am a nutrition graduate assistant for the Healthy Lifestyle Center. So the topic of this video is how to include carbohydrates in a diabetes diet. And today's objectives are to learn the three different types of carbs, what carbs you should be including in your diet, and the amount of carbs you should be consuming. So do people with diabetes need to avoid carbs? So that's actually a very common nutrition myth, is that individuals with diabetes need to completely avoid carbs. While individuals with diabetes must be mindful of how many carbs they eat, they don't need to avoid them altogether. Carbohydrates are the body's main source of fuel and offer a variety of vitamins, minerals, and other healthful nutrients for people with diabetes. So let's discuss the three types of carbs. So there are starches, sugars, and dietary fiber. Starches are present in plant-based foods such as potatoes, peas, corn, beans, rice, and other grain products. Sugars occur naturally in foods such as fruit and milk, but there are also sources of added sugars which are found in highly processed foods such as candy, cake, and soft drinks. And then dietary fiber is an indigestible part of plant foods that may help with digestion and heart health. So it's important for people with diabetes to focus on choosing carbohydrates from nutrient-rich whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grains, and dairy products such as low-fat or fat-free milk and yogurt. Now you may be thinking, shouldn't everyone choose carbs from these types of foods? And the answer to that is yes, we all should be choosing those types of carbs, but it is even more important for people with diabetes to choose these foods due to their beneficial nutrients. And these nutrients lessen the rise in blood glucose, and one of these important nutrients includes fiber, which is often found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. And then foods and beverages with added sugars should be consumed sparingly regardless of a diabetes diagnosis. So you now know that it is safe for you to consume carbs if you have diabetes. But how do you know the amount of carbs you should be consuming each day? Well, it's actually recommended for someone with diabetes that half their calories come from carbohydrates. And this is not actually much different than the recommended amount for someone without diabetes, which is 45 to 65 percent of their calories should come from carbs. Now, what does this proportion actually look like? Well, let's say you consume a 2,000 calorie diet. You would then know that you should be consuming half of those calories from carbs, or 1,000 calories a day should come from carbs. But if you've noticed, calories of carbs is not listed on nutrition labels. Instead, grams of carbs are. So what is 1,000 calories of carbs in grams? Well, there are actually 4 calories in just 1 gram of carbs. So if you divide 1,000 calories of carbs by 4, you get 250 grams of carbs each day. And then you can do the same math with a different amount of calories if you are someone who consumes more or less than 2,000 calories a day. So take your total amount of calories each day and divide that in half to get your amount of calories from carbs, and then divide that number by 4 to get your amount of carbs in grams each day. So spreading carbohydrate choices evenly throughout the day helps to prevent spikes and dips in blood sugar. Recommendations for carbohydrate goals will vary from person to person. So for example, someone who eats 2,000 calories a day, we already decided should be eating 250 grams of carbs per day. So if you split this amount between three meals and two snacks, it may look something like 60 grams of carbs at each meal and 35 grams of carbs for each snack. However, this may vary depending on how frequently a person plans to eat throughout the day. So in meal planning for diabetes, your doctor or dietitian may have recommended that you count your carbs in serving sizes. So for example, you may have been told to eat three servings of carbs at each meal. So a serving of carbohydrates is equal to 15 grams of carbs. And the table on this slide lists some examples of serving sizes, but refer to the nutrition facts label whenever possible for exact amounts. So as you can see in the table, one small apple is considered to be a serving of carbohydrates. A little further down, half cup cooked oatmeal would be considered a serving of carbohydrates. A half cup peas or corn would be serving of carbohydrates. And then, as you can see, this chart provides both nutritious carb sources and not-so-nutritious carb sources, so it is okay to let yourself have that bowl of ice cream every now and then. Just remember, the nutrients in the more nutritious sources help prevent those spikes in blood sugar and should be chosen more often. So altogether, for both people with and without diabetes, carbohydrates play an important role in a healthful diet. Types of carbs include starches, sugars, and dietary fiber. Whole foods such as fruits and vegetables, beans, whole grains, nuts, and seeds provide more dietary fiber, protein, and nutrients to support health for all people and to prevent blood sugar spikes for those with diabetes. 
It is recommended for people with diabetes to consume half their calories from carbs, and this is not actually too far off from the recommendation for people without diabetes. It is important for people with diabetes to spread out their carb consumption evenly throughout the day, so knowing the amount you should be consuming is very important. Therefore, it's important to know that one serving of carbohydrates is equivalent to 15 grams of carbohydrates, and the recommended amount of servings per day will differ for each person based on their calorie needs. So here I have provided the reference I used for the information gathered in this presentation so you can learn more about how to include carbs in your diet on your own. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this presentation. If you have any questions or want more information regarding including carbohydrates in a diabetes diet, please contact us. We would love to hear from you. Our number is 765-285-1293 and our email is hlc765 at gmail.com.